Hello beloved Twin Flame, this is Stephanie Parasha, Divine Light, coming out to you from India. And I'm recording this actually in the midst of a thunderstorm. Um, and I just feel the energy is so powerful right now that I feel called to speak during this time because it is just so incredibly powerful. And this, these storms that have been raging across India for the last few weeks actually, and this is yet another one that's taken lives with it and so you know definitely I can feel this energy building and then somebody told me about this massive wave that had been recorded in the, somewhere near New Zealand and so I looked that up too and it was just it was way out to sea but there was this massive surge that recorded one of the highest waves in, in recorded history and so I've been tuning into what this might all be about for all of us. And I'm unfortunately my physics and my science uh, was not that great at school. And I'm trying to stretch my brain to understand what's going on. But I guess there's also a reason why I don't have that capability. But I, it's because so that I can explain what I see just in my terms. Um, so how I what they're kind of explaining to me is this a massive electromagnetic um, tension it's like a massive stress that's being put on the functioning of the universe and the way that it functions and to the point where obviously it's, it's connected to the poles definitely we've got the magnetic poles which are allowing that electromagnetic frequency to maintain I guess a homeostasis where it's uh, creating that electromagnetic field that protects the earth um, from the north and the south um, poles magnetically and so what I'm kind of being shown is that whole system is completely it's kind of gone a bit haywire um, so things aren't really functioning in the way that they normally are and so that's why everything is kind of coming to and, and there's this massive transition taking place where what I'm kind of trying to glean is that it's something along the lines of we're moving into a different type of um, electrical or um, system so you could say that it's like an upgrade that this you know I guess it's like kind of like saying that we used to use dial-up on the internet back in the day and then they created all these broadband fiber optic whatever cables that made it more efficient to use the internet so they're kind of saying that this is we're needing to upgrade to a more efficient kind of energetic system that is able to sustain everybody in a more balanced way so this electromagnetic system is kind of kind of expiring it's kind of out of date now I guess what people really want to know is what does that actually mean for us little humans dotted around the planet and and what does that mean for the earth um, I'm not really entirely sure you could it could go in all sorts of directions uh, but I, essentially you know we are completely related to the earth and the way that we're made up like we are also made up of the same structure so we've got to remember that we are not actually separate we are all one we are all one and and I'm just seeing a vision of an old um, Hindu uh, story about Lord Krishna and I never really ever understood what that actually meant when he was a baby um, he stole the butter from his family and his mum was trying to punish him and said I think you've stolen the butter and he was like no 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 I haven't she made him open his mouth and when he opened the, his mouth she saw the whole world and the universe inside of his mouth and I think what the scriptures were trying to tell us was that we are the universe, the universe is inside of us. So what that tension that we're actually feeling within ourselves at the moment of those two polarities, where we are actually also set up in that way, our whole mag electromagnetic field of the human body is the same as the earth. And we also operate on the two charges of negative and positive, masculine, feminine, and so on. Now I don't want to get too deep on this, I don't want to get lost here because I, I always like to bring things back to what does that mean in our daily lives. So what I'm feeling and seeing from a lot of people is that it's all of this, the energies where we've been 
acting in a way that's been out of balance through being in the in the charge that was negative generally so where we've had we've played out um, our human role in a way that was based in fear for whatever and whatever fear um, energy that was playing out whether it be uh, I've had people contact me in the last week um, for example saying that they're afraid they're actually going to turn very angry and violent and they don't know what to do about that I've had some people just say they just feel like they're just losing everything's falling apart they're losing friendships they're um, just really under huge amounts of stress like I've been going through um, as those of you that have been regular listeners um, will know I'm settling a property um, between my ex-husband and myself and this is very karmic and I can feel a lot of the karmic ties related to this so I will use my example to try and help you understand how to get out of the old ways of doing things so how I've, I was, was in my relationship with my ex-husband was that I was a very, I was the people pleaser, I was the compromiser, I would always try and do the right thing by everybody. I wouldn't, um, I would be prepared to give my life away to my husband. I was very devoted to him. I was a very devoted and loving wife. I, we were together for 10 years and I, you know, sometimes I would stand my ground on things if I felt that that was necessary. But quite often that wouldn't really work very well in this relationship and I'd often get shut down and I'd found that I went back to my default setting which started as a child when I had a very angry mother growing up so I would go into a passive role and play a very sort of people pleasing, um, conflict avoidant type of uh, role in my life and I've done that pretty much all my life and all my relationships and I've come to this point now where I've had to stand up and I've had to try and balance myself because my mind just wants to flip out to the other extreme of passive which is just be aggressive and just go head on and just say look I've had enough of this and start demanding you owe me this you owe me that this is how how much it's worth I'm going to a lawyer da 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 now that might be different from how I've done it before which I often advise people do something differently step out of your fear and go into a different energy of what you've never done before. But what I was doing was I was going, I was still in fear, but I was just going to the opposite extreme of fear. So I was still playing out the extreme, extreme polarities of fear. So what I have realized that I needed to do was to come into the balance, to come into the middle. So what that's actually meant is letting go and trusting in the universe, trusting in, in the heart path, and trusting that divine justice will prevail if I stay very grounded and very centered in a huge amount of trust that and belief in myself that I will get what I is I deserve based on the value that I place on myself when I stand firm when I don't get emotional and I don't get triggered anymore and I don't need to argue my point I just stand firm and stay on the facts and stay balanced and centered and knowing that I, I do deserve this because that's also involved a change of energy for me where in the past I actually didn't think that I deserved it and, uh, and I was actually prepared to walk away but more I, I was using the excuse that I was walking away because I just wanted to let it go I didn't want to fight and maybe that it would just work out by itself and uh, that sort of spiritual kind of way which was actually being a spiritual doormat which was actually saying you know I'm um, I, I'm handing it over to the universe but what I was actually saying was I'm too scared to stand in my power I'm too scared to to have to fight this I don't have the energy to fight this um, but what this new energy is is actually saying you know what I do deserve this I do need support I do need some financial settlement out of this which is going to benefit everybody in the long term and so what it's done is now this huge energy has shifted in my life in the last week and I see that this has only happened because I shifted my energy into this space prior to that I wasn't sleeping I was having a lot of stress around this whole how to handle this whole issue I was kind of getting signs and synchronicities and symbols but I was often misreading them as well and um, still kind of going into my avoiding conflict 
um, place. So I decided that I had nothing to lose and I was just going to continue to stand up and continue to stand up, continue to stand up for what I believed in. I believed in myself and I believed in what I deserved and I believed in loving myself and taking the action that showed that I loved and honoured and respected and valued myself the most. And so that is what is required here and that is what is required for all of us when we come into the balance what we're actually coming into is where we stand in that place that says i love honor respect and value myself and i deserve to be treated in a way that's fair and just and if that's not going to come from that person that in which you might be having this conflict with then it is going to come from the universe and whatever action that will action step that will carry on from there so I, I was prepared to walk away I had nothing but actually what happened was my ex-husband actually finally shifted his energy too and got out of his head and his ego and went into his heart and realized and it was a huge it's been a huge success and we've all realized that we're ready to go to the next chapter the thing things have unblocked and would you believe we had a symbolic um, toilet blockage throughout this whole thing as well which was kind of showing me oh my gosh the shit's coming up everything's blocked <laughs> and you know what happened was in the last day that they came and fixed the toilet they unblocked the toilet and everything's flowing again and we're back in our hearts and everybody can move on everybody can move on and everything gets put into that balance so this is what is required for us energetically for the earth to come into balance because I believe that we can make a lot of shifts in a lot of different ways and change our energy and become more come more into alignment into a more sustainable energy frequency that's what we're being asked to do we're just being asked to upgrade our energy to a more sustainable energetic vibration and it is really just the vibration of self-love as we've talked about the whole way along and this is the vibration that will help you energetically with your twin and that is why you're having these karmic situations come up right now why you and I we all are having these situations come up where they're really challenging us we're getting really triggered for a reason so that we can love ourselves more and and protect ourselves because what we are protecting what we are loving and what we are honoring is divinity is the purity of our hearts and that is something very much worth protecting and loving and respecting and valuing so yeah that's pretty much the update for today uh, and I'm just going to do a little plug while I'm here um, if you haven't already checked out or heard about the transmission or celebration that is being planned for the 18th of May uh, which I have been guided to hold space for uh, please go and check that out. I will leave the link below to the video and to my website where you can just click and go in and join us because uh, what I've been downloaded is that this is what they're being told what I've been told is a peace portal. It's an opening uh, of beautiful new energy that is being ushered in and I'm actually feeling as I'm transiting towards this gateway which is only in a few days time that this is going to be a real celebration it's a celebration because of so many of us that have crossed the line and are now walking through that door again to this brand new energy of a of massive balance alchemical transformation and what was also being told to me was this new divine masculine energy that is being birthed onto the planet as well because this is part of the balance as well because we can't forget we always need masculine and feminine but how we've interpreted it has been very much out of balance and and very um, separating and very competitive and very blamey and very you know not respectful and not valuing and so this is about us both both energies both feminine and masculine divine coming into our divinity in our hearts and and valuing and respecting those energies that we play out in the human form so there'll be probably a lot more coming through on the actual day it's 18th of may it'll be 5 18 a.m india time so hopefully that lines up for 
as many of you as possible. It's $11 to join. The link is below, so go and check it out. It'll take you to my website where you, you purchase the activation and then there'll be an email sent out giving you information on how to access the Facebook group. And I'll be doing that activation live here in India um, at 5.18 in the morning. I've been given that date as a special specific power date. I really thank those of you that have already joined. I've got some people that have already worked with me previously on a previous activation that have joined again and we've also got some new people signing up. It's a very beautiful energy of this group that I can really feel is so supportive and so loving and I hope that you can feel that too. Um, because we are all here to support each other and when we come together in large numbers and I can feel the goosebumps rising when we do that we really activate we are so powerful twin flames when we come together and it just is so beautiful it's a beautiful blend of giving our energy as well as receiving energies because as always we've got to balance out okay I am going to leave it there for now beloveds and I'm sending you out a whole lot of love and light and beautiful energy and I hope you're okay getting through these um, very energetic times all will be well if you stay in your heart and and believe in yourself okay lots of love bye for now hello again just as I was about to upload that video I got another download of information so I need to bring this through as well it's really important so they're showing me as part of this shift of energy in terms of the way that we're operating that that <clears throat> electromagnetic field that was related to the energy of fear and all the programming associated with fear for example you know all of the negative emotions that we've been experiencing lack lack of love uh, anger jealousy competition all of these things are just literally falling away so because what's happened is the new grid system is being developed and the structure is in place and that is due to the number of light workers and star seeds that have already integrated and healed and managed, managed to remove and dismantle and transform the old 3d programming matrix and so this new structure, this new format is in place, ready. Um, um, those numbers, 144,000, are very symbolic at this time because you'll be seeing that a lot. And that is related to the, they're sort of showing me that hexagonal shape of the sort of, um, the beehives make that sort of shape. So that's the sort of way that the structure looks, kind of like that flower of life type grid system that is now ready and in place due to the large number of light workers that have changed their atomic structure to enable this energy to now be present. And yeah, so that's pretty much the essence of the message. So what a large number of us will, sorry, I'm just doing things at the same time to get this message through. Uh, what a large number of us will now be experiencing is really operating fully from the heart space and and that is the balance when we're operating from the heart space we are out of fear we're in love so we can find love in each moment and this is this the operating energetic frequency in which we're going to be operating from yeah so uh, there'll probably be more about this as time goes on as we understand it more but pretty much the 3d matrix is really about to fall away the new dimensional they don't even want us to give it a name because when we name dimensions it puts us back into that head space of thinking that um we are it's it's linear and so they just want it to show it as as a new beautiful new program that's been created like a new computer program but it's structure it's got structure it's got form that we can actually rest upon and know that the universe is supporting us and the cosmic energy is supporting us when we stand in our heart okay i'll leave it there i don't want to confuse anyone so um, i'm sending all out that energy that comes with that okay i hope you can feel that lots of love bye for now